Hi friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back Sanatorio del Ticino, Sanatorium of Horror in Ticino. Uh, this is uh, near the Italy border. Ticino is, uh, is, the is an Italian language part of Switzerland. They talk, they talk just Italian and I don't speak Italian. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, there is a, a very old sanatorium and um, I would very love to go there. But the problem is it's in the, it's in the mountains and it's very a long distance. Uh, even with, the, with a car, you, you, you have a long time to drive, you know. Okay, for you maybe in your country, I don't know uh, where you live, but I know in the USA it's two, three hours is nothing. And for us here, this is very long because <laughs> uh, our, our country is so small for you. You can go straight from here to the other side and you have four, just four hours. <laughs> it's, it's, I know it's small, but for us it's, it's, it's long, you know. Okay, and yeah, this is the story about it. Have fun. Sanatorium of Horror in Ticino. The Sanatorio del Cotardo once served as a hospital, but the Gotthard Sanatorium near Quinto Ticino has long since become an absolutely terrifying house of horrors. Completed in 1905, people were cured here for 57 years. It was the first military personnel in the First World War, later tuberculosis sufferers. Today, the abandoned building serves one main purpose, to terrify its visitors. The dark corners of the five-story building and the in-house death cellar are not for the faint of heart. Some people also claim to have witnessed unimagined powers on site. In a forum for paranormal, a Lucerne resident reported how his car suddenly turned on its own across the road on the way to the sanatorium as if someone or something wanted to prevent him from approaching the building. The once magnificent main entrance of the sanatorium. Opened in 1905, it became the property of the canton of Ticino in 1920. It was used for the treatment of tuberculosis patients. Even today, one can imagine what a beautiful place it must once have been, with a magnificent view over the upper Leventina. In 1962, the sanatorium closed its door forever. The reason? There were no longer enough tuberculosis patients. Switzerland had succeeded in essentially eradicating the once pandemic disease. For 60 years now, the building has stood empty and decaying. The dining room also gives an idea of the former splendor. The interior of the building is accessible through the terrace. But beware, in May 2021, municipality of Quinto, on whose territory the sanatorium is located, decided that from now on entering is strictly prohibited. By all accounts, the police now keep showing up to make sure that no more adventures venture here. However, at the entrance from the street and not at the back entrance. One of the outbuildings is also accessible. Absurdly, an extensive tree stump is stuck in one of the windows here. Apparently, 
someone made an effort here in the, in the recent past to bring the building back into a better condition and then gave up again after an initial effort. Actually, the canton of Ticino sold the entire site to Kazakh Investor Group in 2016. It wanted to turn into a training center for winter sports. There's even a building permit from the municipality of Quinto, but the Kazakhs have not yet started work. Instead, they have built a new ice stadium for the local HC Embry Piotta. Yeah guys, that was the video and I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, so please uh, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to tickle the bell too. So every time if I upload a new video, you will know it. So stay healthy and creepy like every time. Bye guys.